Hello everyone and welcome to Tuesday Tutorials. I am your host Richard Evans. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Today I'd like to show you how to use the flex control panel to position your downstream keyers on your TriCaster, allowing you to customize your content with easy to use controls. So let me show you how it's done, son. All right, so I have my TriCaster 2 Elite interface up and running and my flex control panel here in my desk. Let's combine these two and start moving around the positionings of our downstream keyers. So uh, what I wanna do for uh, this particular shot that I have, you see I have my uh, host over here in this server room kind of thing. And what I wanna do is bring on a lower third. So for example, I wanna bring on uh, this lower third. You'll see there today's headline, but then I also wanna bring on uh, uh, my other host here as like a picture in picture kind of thing. And now, right now, if I do that particular transition, well, he's going to cover up the whole screen. So let's go ahead and scale him down. So to do that, I'm going to hold down the layer button in the top left. Let me zoom in on my camera side real quick. All right, I'll hold down this button layer. And when I do that, you'll see that I have a couple different options here. So let me zoom back out. All right, so I have options now. We're downstream keyers one, two, three, and four over here on the right. And then I have my upstream keyers over here to mess around with, but we'll get to that here in a bit. All right, so uh, what I wanna do is I'm gonna take downstream keyer number one. So I'll select that. You'll see there's a light illuminated under that one. All right, yep, so he's over there. And let's see, so now what I'm gonna do is use my positioning tools, my, my sorry, my zoom tools over here on the left to first scale him down like so, all right. And now I'll use the uh, joystick over here on the right to move him around like that. All right, that looks pretty good. Okay, cool. So now we have that up and running and now I can do my picture in picture. I'll just go ahead and make sure that I have everything right here. And I'll use a T-bar to bring those uh, two pieces of two downstream keyers on screen like so. All right, looks pretty good, professional. Get out of here, get back to that. Okay, so that was how you would do that on the uh, downstream keyer side of things, but now let me show you how to do that on the upstream keyer side of things. So for that, let's move over to mix effect number one, which will be our host over... Let's go ahead and do the preview of that, please. Do that and then do that. All right, there we go. So there we go, that's my... Uh, uh, my mix effect number one is actually this guy on his virtual set. So this time I'm going to do it the other way around, okay? So I want to bring in her as a picture-in-picture. Picture. So what I'll need to do is I need to configure my uh, flex control panel to be in my mix effect mode. So to do that, I'll hold down stripe, and then I'm going to hold down mix effect number one. And now this stripe is controlling mix effect number one. Okay, so now I can move around, change things around, et cetera, but I don't wanna do that. Uh, what I wanna do is mess around with that downstream keyer number one. All right, so I'll hold down layer, layer number one, okay? And if I bring that shot on, you'll see that takes up the whole screen again, okay? Now, there's no way for me to really preview this on the mix effect side of things, so I'm just gonna do this by hand here. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'll go ahead and just put that on screen, and then using, again, my zoom tools on the left and joystick on the right, let's go ahead and scale her down. One more. And then stick her over in the corner, just above his shoulder, like so. That looks all right. All right, and then I can bring her off screen, whoop, like that. Cool, and then when if I go back to my main row here, if I go back to my mix row, all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and bring on my mix effect number one shot. Cool, I'll go ahead and go back to stripe while that's on screen, mix effect number one, all right, and then I had downstream keyer number one selected here, all right, and then go ahead and bring her on. Bam, there you go, just like that. So a few different steps to make this uh, go around with the downstream keyers and the upstream keyers, but some really powerful things that you can do with this. So highly recommend playing around with it, and of course, have some fun. There you have it, another super cool way to use the Flex Control Panel. Now for more tutorial videos like this one, subscribe to the New Tech YouTube channel at youtube.com slash newtechinc. For formalized new tech product training, check out New Tech University at newtech.com slash newtech-u. 
And for more information on New Tech products and services, contact your local New Tech partner or visit our website, newtech.com. And if you're posting your work with New Tech products on social media, tag us using the hashtags New Tech, TriCaster, or 3Play. We love seeing what you are working on. That's it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon for another episode of Tuesday Tutorials.